Good morning everyone. Look, welcome back to Lord Lucario's Lair. So I'm getting ready for a TCG event coming up in my local area. About an hour away. Still local, I guess, right? But I'm looking to see what people's opinions are on the lowest and the highest amount that you all think I could sell this binder for. Don't I get the... Okay, we're gonna go right there. I think that should be. Yeah, I can actually go down a little bit. Just non-foil commons, uncommons. I think there might be some non-foil rares. I'm not sure. Moving on to the foils, commons, uncommons, rares. Moving on to the vintage. So in some of the common slots, I will have two of each on each side. So like that'll be two and whatever's on the other side will have two. So please keep that in mind as well. The uncommons are single in the pages, but the commons are doubled up. That was a bad turn on that page. I should be more careful. And it's going to be the same with this. The uncommons are single in the slot. And the commons are going to be doubled up. I believe the energies are single. Yeah, they're uncommon, so they're singled. And that ends the vintage. Well, I guess this set is considered vintage now because it's, what, 2016? So it's starting to rot well, become vintage if it's not yet considered it. A couple band cards, pretty cool. Near complete Halloween set 2024. Oh, and I will be filling in the rest of this and this page as well. 
uh, probably with more common uncommon foils and I'll probably put a few rares in there maybe some EX or something but as it sits you know just let me know what you think and uh, you know thank you kindly have a great day treat others the way I want to be treated